Some of you may be heading back to school from winter break. Some of you may already be there. It doesn't matter because all the gear I show you today in no way will help your failing grade. What it will do though is make you feel extra and we like extra. Plus a huge shout out to our waterproof sponsor of this video, Bessie Footwear and their waterproof everyday shoes. So let's check it out. So this is different, but if you think about it, shoes are an essential part of your everyday carry. That's why I've partnered with Vessi because these aren't just any shoes. These are literally called the everyday shoes. They aren't just your plain old runners either. Aside from this ninja stealth black on black vibe, this fabric they call Dymatex is completely waterproof. Not only that, it's temperature regulating as well, letting your sweaty feet breathe in the summer while also keeping them cool in the winter. And I get if you're skeptical because I was too, come on. Their knit fabric shoes. So I took it to the test. And as a control test subject, I also tested my regular running shoes, splishing and splashing deep into the water like you would encounter walking wet, sludgy, or muddy streets. And even I shocked myself after this. The outside is completely dry, but the inside, drier than the skin on my elbows. This tissue still has its crunch. Now, if you still aren't convinced though, well, check this out. Yeah, there's more water in the shoe than in the actual tub, metaphorically speaking. The shoe is completely soaked, which means shriveled toes and no better way to ruin a Friday night than having to walk around with wet socks for the rest of it. The Bessies, on the other hand, repel water like I repel women. It's super effective. Now, in terms of comfort, thanks to the whole thing being basically a knitted sock, it provides plenty of stretch, making it simple to slip on like an actual sock and hugging your foot so well you can actually wear these without a sock. Although if I had one criticism, I wish they'd add a finger tab so I don't have to constantly stick my finger in and tickle my foot every time. Now this may sound like an ad, because it is, they're sponsoring this video, but even if they weren't, there's no denying these really work. I've worn these for the past month in the Canadian winter weather, and they're not kidding when they say it's meant for every single day, rain, snow, and sun. Plus having this blackout colorway fits my style perfectly. Black on black on black, baby. Now the everyday shoe does come with laces, although I don't find them necessary as long as you get the right size for your foot. They're more for aesthetics than anything, and the bottom has a herringbone tread pattern meant to provide four-way anti-slip which i can only agree with because i've yet to slip even through the snow otherwise minimal branding great for non-sneaker heads like myself and the sole is lightweight and flexible almost like a marshmallow which not only makes them comfortable for extended periods they squish and pack easily for travel too so if you want your feet to live their best dry life use my code accessorize to save 15 percent on any of their styles first link down below continuing with the apparel on the noggin this is the cap sack made of a soft crinkled nylon it gets the nostalgic points for the 90s vibe but if you haven't guessed yet this zipper unveils an actual taco shaped pocket straight on your head it's not the thickest or the most practical but more than enough for some cards or even a snack trust me when i say you'll be the coolest kid in class the best part is when you're done showing off you can even tuck this whole package away into itself and just carry this taco around in your pocket and always have a cap with you because bad hair days happen not that i would know now, if you want to spice things up though, you can add some snaps, a slide on metallic plate to show off who you're currently bandwagoning. It basically gives any plain old boring snapback or cap some personality, especially when you wear it like the cool kids do backwards. They've got a whole range of designs to choose from and the leather padding on the back ensures you don't get a rectangle embossed on your forehead. Next, if you're rocking an Apple Watch for class reminders, then the new Nomad Active Strap is fancy enough for a job interview, but also durable enough to survive a frat party. The hydrophobic Canyon leather is from Germany, it's waterproof, and well, can take some abuse. There's even ventilation channels if you've got some extra moist wrists and a choice of black or silver hardware, but obviously black is hot fire. It's a strap you can wear every day looking good at any event but unfortunately it won't help with your awkward social skills at any of them now when on campus your student id is the key to everything so having it on you at all times is quintessential that's where the set of dispatch fidlock keychains are useful not only for ids but also for your keys and even airpod pros there's two parts to it the attachments and the mounts connected by this fidlock magnetic clip that you'd be surprised with how secure it is due to how simple it actually is to remove by just pulling on the tab of course the fun part is how easy it is to clip them back on though. This is the ID attachment with a built-in mesh window and it fits a single card snug but you could sneak some backup cash inside too. Then there's my favorite, the AirPods case. This tiny pouch with an elastic on top to keep things from sliding out, which for how simple that is, does really well at preventing that. But if you squeeze it like a tube of toothpaste, it pops right out. Of course, you're in college though, you probably can't afford AirPod Pros. This also works great for daily essentials too. This next one is a little unique. Meant to attach onto your Apple Watch, you're able to then carry it like a 
pocket watch, but from like the 21st century. It's much more useful than one, but you do lose out on the heart rate sensor though. Finally, if you're just looking for something to carry your keys, they've got a standard key ring as well. And the best part is all the attachments are interchangeable for each mount, like the Getty D ring that allows you to clip it anywhere. My favorite, a snap loop for either a bag strap or your belt, and this closed loop for when you need a little more security. Plus, they've got a dedicated spot for a key ring as well, so you can have all the essentials securely attached onto you. Yes, even those essentials. Now moving on to the pants and in the first pocket, we gotta have our phones. I'm a huge iPhone advocate, but we're not here for that. It's the case we're looking at because the later case by Unbox Therapy doesn't discriminate. Lou made these cases so that phones of all shapes and sizes wouldn't be left out. Designed with authentic Kevlar carbon fiber, it's hard to call this a case because it's so thin. It's basically a thick carbon fiber skin. He cuts down on material where he can, buttons, ports, but is generous around the camera lens, which is very appreciated. It's definitely one of the thinnest cases I've ever used and I surprisingly love it because of that. It's got a soft touch finish, you can sort of feel the fiber texture, and it's definitely better than the slippery finish of the phone. But in no way is this case protective, as it doesn't even offer a lip around the front screen. So I highly recommend you pair this with your favorite screen protector, or my favorite, a pop socket. Black, of course, to match. It just gives you something to confidently and securely grip onto. Sure, it's a slight bump, but in return, you also get a built-in stand to watch all your hands-free videos. This case isn't for everyone, mainly if you suck at holding things because it's designed to just be a thin case offering scratch resistant at best but it also just feels really really nice to hold on to in the opposite pocket we've got our tool of choice the victorinox swiss card light the perfect campus tool to have on you because as the name suggests it just looks like a card very friendly and non-threatening although taking a closer look it's packing more than you are starting off with a tiny knife great for opening boxes and possibly cutting up your failed assignments. Then my favorite, an actual pair of scissors tiny, but great for loose threads. If you're afraid of the dark like I am, this won't help, but it's definitely good enough to line up tight spots. And then this tiny metallic driver with dual Phillip heads and dual flat heads to fix all your tiny problems. The magnifying glass is definitely my least used and favorite of the bunch. Then your standard Victorinox tweezers, a stainless steel pin because why not? And finally, my second favorite, a slim pressurized ballpoint pen because you never know when someone will ask you for an autograph. To top it all off, they even embossed a ruler onto the long edge. Although made of plastic, it's quite durable and lightweight. Plus, given its size similar to an actual credit card, albeit about as thick as three of them, you can actually stick it into your wallet, which means you're always on the ready to tackle any tiny sized, fairly lightweight, and simple problem. In the same pocket, a special message from Raised by Wolves. This is their blacked out metallic lighter case. And honestly, this segment could end there because it's a solid piece of metal that houses a standard Bic lighter. And if you do smoke, or at the very least like to feel included with the cool kids that do, this case will help you send a clear message when you can't seem to muster it up verbally yourself. It does a decent job at holding the lighter in place simply with friction, but basically don't go shaking this upside down and you'll be fine. I don't condone smoking, but it's just fun to feel up this matte black finish and the embossed lettering is a sweet touch. Moving behind to the bum pocket, my wallet of choice is simple because you're in school and you can't afford more than a single credit card. This is the Travax Ascent wallet, utilizing a thick top grain leather with a solid stainless steel frame which actually hurts if you punch it. A quick second look to admire the design though, this leather can take a beating. Some thick roping to tie it all together, and this rigid frame makes this feel more like a tool than a wallet. But it's a fairly simple carry. Two main slots, each holding up to three cards comfortably. One side is accessed with a thumb cutout, best for less used cards, then the other with a quick access pull tab, easily getting to your cards in a jiffy. A bonus pocket on the same side with a slick cutout that can hold some cash. And when fully packed, everything stays in place through my scientific shake test. The Ascent is a simple wallet designed to survive the harshest of conditions like that liberal arts course you decided to enroll in brutally useless stored in the opposite cheek pocket you're gonna laugh because i did too when i discovered this the pop socket pop thirst a coffee cup sleeve with a built-in pop socket so you never have to drop your coffee while recording a tiktok dance again but it's also sort of environmentally friendly as it's reusable thanks to the non-slip foam material and with the new pop socket mount design you can even customize it to your liking like with this compass to help you find yourself while drinking your fourth flat white of the day but bad jokes aside it's actually just really comfortable to hold 
Haters gonna hate. The fun doesn't end up here though. Moving to the pockets below, in the stealthy slanted zippered cargo pockets, the tiniest umbrella that fits inside, appropriately named the Fulton Tiny Classic. It's shaped like a really large Twix bar and includes a cover because no one likes a dripping umbrella and it extends and expands just enough to keep a single person dry. So don't plan on being the nice guy that shares his umbrella unless you think she's cute. In which case, good thing your shoes are waterproof. Fitting in the same cargo pocket, I always encourage carrying a full size pen, this time going to the Uni Jetstream Multi Pen and Pencil. Now it's a thick pen, sort of like a sharpie, but not for nothing. As this packs in four colored pens, great to stay creative. But there's also a fifth mechanical 0.5mm pencil option too, and don't forget the eraser up top as well. This is probably one of the most expensive pens you'll own, but is essentially a whole pencil case wrapped into one. Now that's a deal. Finally, in the opposite cargo pocket, I call this the fun pocket, starting with the Quip Floss Dispenser. You heard that right. This metallic phallic looking tube is like if 007 carried floss with him because it's just the coolest floss dispenser you'll ever own. And with how much junk you'll be eating on campus, it may be a good idea to carry one. Then to pass some time the old fashioned way, a Hanayama Delta puzzle. The whole thing is made of solid cast iron and internal rage as you'll struggle to figure it out. So as to not ruin it, if you do wanna try it yourself, you essentially need to figure out how to split these into three pieces and successfully put it back together. Together. It's only a level 3 puzzle, meaning it's a great beginner one to get you into puzzles, but there's also a whole range of harder ones if your heart can handle the added stress. Finally, because decisions are hard sometimes, we've got the decision coin from Cool Material. This thick piece of brass can either be that supporting friend or the Debbie Downer, but this allows you to leave it up to fate when you just can't decide like whether you should drop that liberal arts course. Finally, because you've seen and been in all of its holes, this is the Doer Live Free Adventure Pants. These slim jogger style pants are lightweight, durable, yet maneuverable thanks to the reinforced stitching and the added crotch gusset area. And aside from all the pockets, the best part is their ankle cuff, which you can tie down for super hipster mode or loosen up a bit to let your calves do some breathing. Honestly, I haven't taken these pants off for the last week, which if you can only afford to buy one pair of pants a year, should certify to be this one. Don't forget, save 15% on legit waterproof shoes using my code accessorize. Details in the first link down below. And that's it. Let me know in the comments what you're studying or have studied in school. I rest my shoe?